Hey guys, Dan here with another quick trade paperback review. Um, this time I'm reviewing Batman Detective Comics uh, Volume 5, I do believe this is. Yes, it is. Volume 5. And this collects issues... 963 through 968, and it's subtitled A Lonely Place of Living. This um, is all about the return of Tim Drake, who, Tim Drake was one of the Robins. He later became Red Robin. And this one kind of has a little twist. Um, this involves a future storyline where Tim Drake becomes the Batman, and that's all I can really say. And also the um, the other another guy called Anarchy is involved. But for those who have not been keeping up with the Batman story, um, Batman has his League of Batman. It's basically like Clayface, Batwoman, Batwing, and you know a couple other minor characters who are basically looking out for Gotham. And yeah. So I found this one to be really interesting just because of the future timeline thing. Um, it, they kind of hinted at uh, Damian Wayne still being Batman, even though, like, the whole multiverse thing that happened after the New 52 with Convergence and all that other stuff. So, like, a lot of things have been kind of rewritten, but some things are still the same. And I'm kind of glad to see that Damian Wayne will still become Batman in the future. But I found this interesting twist with, you know, Tim Drake being the Batman kind of fun, too. So, um, a majority, I'd say at least half of this book dealt with that storyline, and then the second part of the book was about the anarchy guy, and it was, just wasn't as good as the first part of the book. But it is worth picking up if you want and you know, kind of, you know... Because I, I have a feeling with Volume 6 they're going to lead more into this storyline. Uh, just call me crazy, but I have a feeling that that's going to happen. So I really did enjoy this. I did rate this 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Um, James Tynion, the fourth, he's a pretty good writer, I have to say. Um, the way this was written was really well done. Um, I don't know who exactly did the artwork, but there were certain scenes where the future Batman would, like, the timeline would kind of change or whatever, and they kind of did that in watercolor, which I thought was really interesting. I, I really appreciated that because it showed a difference in the artwork, so it wasn't just like, you know... It wasn't strictly digital either, which I kind of hate when comics use just only digital artwork. But I really liked this. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I can't wait for Volume 6. If you uh, want to purchase a copy for yourself, I will have a link, as always, down below. Um, if you've read it, let me know what you thought of it. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber and you're looking for more comic book, trade paperback, graphic novel reviews, please hit that subscriber link down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, later.